Our Weed of the Week is an annual, or at least it's usually an annual. Sometimes it's a short-lived perennial. It's Cursed Crowfoot. It's in the buttercup family, and a lot of these buttercups can be toxic. This one probably got the name Cursed because it's a little more toxic than some of the other buttercups. It's got a sap that's in it, so when you pull it and that plant breaks and that sap gets on your skin, it will cause blisters. It could be even worse, so be careful if you see this weed. Well, you know, Darren, when we were kids on the farm and we had to pull weeds, that's maybe why our dad always told us, wear gloves, boys. You don't want any of that kind of stuff getting on your hands. Well, that's a good idea, especially if you don't know what the weed is, because there are some weeds out there that are toxic, and even yep. this weed, I was thinking, you know, there's probably somebody that thinks this is an edible plant. I don't know, maybe there are parts of it that are edible, but I don't want to take that chance. No way. So you want to get good control of this. Usually we see it out in pastures. If you do, it's pretty easy to control with a good strong rate of 2,4-D. Don't get cheap on it. Use a good rate. Otherwise, a lot of the ALS herbicides will work. If you're, let's say in wheat, you could use one of those Affinity products, that would be just fine. Osprey is okay. You could start with Sharpen. You turn to corn, that's where I'd probably suggest Verdict Down, follow post to merge with Status. In soybeans, the three pre's will certainly help you. It'll help hold it back a little bit. And then post emerge, of course, you've got those specific products like the Enlist products, the Extendamax, and those types of dicamba products. And Roundup so and Liberty, they're all pretty good on this particular weed. Well, that's all the time we have for our Weed of the Week, Cursed Crowfoot. But there's more Ag PhD to come right after this.